Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if it's your first time here. If you're back for your weekly fix, you already know what to expect here, but if you're new, allow me to explain what you're about to feast your ears on over the next few minutes. This series is called the Power 5 Stocks of the Week and each and every Friday, 30 minutes prior to market open, this video will go live and outline up the five different dividend stocks that lead in five very important dividend metrics, all with ex-dividend dates of the following week. What is the primary goal? The goal of this series isn't to say that these stocks are the best investments of all time or even that they're good buys at the current moment, but instead to expose you to some quality dividend stocks that you might not have otherwise known about to see if they fit your goals. If that sounds like a good time to you, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future content. But without further delay, let's get to this week's list. This week's quality stock leading the pack with the highest dividend yield is Fidelity D&D Bank Corp, stock ticker FDBC. FDBC is a quarterly payer in the financial sector paying $1 and 52 cents per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 3.13%. FDBC has been paying and growing its dividend over the past 10 years. It has a three-year dividend growth rate of 8.6%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 8.3%, and I wasn't able to find a payout ratio for this stock. At the time of recording, Fidelity D&D Bank Corp was trading 20.28% off of its 52-week high, it has an ex-dividend date of February 15th with a payout date of March 8th. And here on my channel, I like to compare any and all investments to the return you could have otherwise gotten out of the S&P 500 in the same time frame because I said so. No, he did. With that being said, a single investment of $10,000 into FDBC 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then would have grown into $37,085.52, which comes out to a 14% year-over-year -year return rate, which is compared to the S&P that would have grown that same 10K over the same 10 years into $34,047.33, resulting in a difference of $3,038.19 on the side of FDBC. This week's stock that's been paying and growing its dividend the longest is MSA Safety, stock ticker MSA. MSA is a quarterly payer in the industrial sector, paying $1.88 per share per year, with a forward dividend yield of 1.11%. MSA has been paying and growing its dividend over the past 53 years. It has a three-year dividend growth rate of 3.03%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 4.65%, and a payout ratio of 23.34%. At the time of recording, MSA Safety was trading 9.11% off of its 52-week high. It has an ex-dividend date of February 14th with a payout date of March 10th. And that single investment of $10,000 into MSA 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then would now be worth $42,522.94, which comes out to a 15.57% year-over-year return rate and outperforms the S&P 500 by $8,475.61 over the past 10 years. Which leads us to the stock that could be at the most attractive buying price, which is Market Access, stock ticker MKTA. MKTX is a quarterly payer in the financial sector paying $2.96 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 1.32%. MKTX has been paying and growing its dividend over the last 15 years. It has a three-year dividend growth rate of 6.27% a five-year dividend growth rate of 11.39%, and a payout ratio of 35.33%. At the time of recording, market access was trading 43.79% off of its 52-week high, as an ex-dividend date of February 13th with a payout date of February 28th. And you know the drill, that single investment of $10,000 invested into MKTX 10 years ago would now be worth $40,225.33, which is a 14.93% year-over-year return rate, which despite falling from its 52-week high, still managed to outperform the S&P by a total of $6,178 over the past 10 years. Before we get to my favorite stock in today's video, please do me a favor and make sure you guys are clicking that like button as it helps me get my content to others that also might enjoy it. Thank you, and now let's get to the best stock on this week's list. This week's stock that believes in making you rich in capital and dividends is MSCI, stock ticker MSCI. MSCI is a quarterly payer in the financial sector paying $6.40 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 1.08%. MSCI has been paying and growing its dividend over the last 10 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 23.65% a five-year dividend growth rate of 23.52%, and a payout ratio of 37.61%. At the time of recording, MSCI was trading 3.94% off of its 52-week high. It has an ex-dividend date of February 15th with a payout date of February 29th. 
And again, we have that one-time investment of $10,000 into MSCI 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since, which would now be worth $159,990.65, which is a massive 31.94% year-over-year return rate, which outperforms the S&P by more than four and a half times and results in a difference of $125,943.32 on just 10K just 10 years ago. Say what? And just like that, I was able to show you four different dividend stocks that are the best of the best. These stocks not only come with a dividend streak of at least 10 years, but they've also outperformed the S&P 500 over the past 10 years and have ex-dividend dates of this coming week. Ta-da! Make sure you guys are using that comment section down below to let me know your thoughts on this week's list as I read and respond to every comment. And if you want to be nosy and see how much I made in passive income in January, make sure you're checking out this video. But until next time, see you.